Dear students, welcome to Loka Satta Yashashvi Bhava. First of all, I am congratulating you for passing your 9th standard exam successfully. Mathematics is one of the important and scoring subject. If you will practice mathematics daily, then you can score full marks in it. Today, let us go through the chapters and important contents given in the textbook. Let us start with algebra first. Please refer your Loka Sattva Yashashvi Bhava. Algebra, chapter 1. Name of the chapter is Arithmetic Progression and Geometric Progression and the important contents are as follows. Sequences, types of sequences, progression, arithmetic progression, properties of an arithmetic progression, particular terms in an arithmetic progression, application of arithmetic progression, world problems are based on it, geometric progression, particular terms in a geometric progression. Weightage of marks for this particular chapter is 50. Chapter 2. Name of the chapter is Quadratic Equations. The important contents are as follows. Standard form of the quadratic equation. Roots of the quadratic equation. Methods of solving quadratic equations. Nature of roots of a quadratic equation. Relation between the roots and coefficients. To form quadratic equation in its roots are if its roots are given. Equation reducible to quadratic form. Word problems on quadratic equations. Weightage of marks for this particular chapter is 16. Chapter 3. Name of the chapter is linear equation in two variables. The important contents are as follows. Graphical method, determinant method of solving simultaneous equation, condition of consistency in equations, equation reducible to a pair, application of simultaneous equations, weightage for this particular chapter is of 18 marks. Chapter 4, name of the chapter is probability. The important contents are as follows, terms in probability, types of events, probability of an event, properties of probability, addition theorem of probability and weightage of marks for this particular chapter is 10. Chapter 5, name of the chapter is statistics part 1. The important contents are as follows, revision, majors of central tendency, Interrelation between majors of central tendency. Weightage of marks for this particular chapter is 8. Chapter 6. Name of the chapter is Statistics Part 2. The important contents are as follows. Pictorial representation of statistical data. Pi diagram. Construction of a pi diagram. Reading the pi diagram. Graphical representation of statistical data. Frequency polygon and frequency curve. Ogive curves or cumulative frequency curves. Weightage of marks for this particular chapter is 8. This was the introduction of your textbook. Now let us go through the nature of question paper. So you will get the complete idea about the nature of the question paper and the syllables which is covered in your textbook. Let us go through the nature of question paper. Algebra. In all, there will be five questions. An internal option for each question will be given. Question 1. Solve any six of the following sub-questions and there is a weightage of one mark for each sub-question. Total marks allotted is six. Question 2. You have to solve any five sub-questions Weightage of mark for each sub-question is 2 and in all weightage is of 10 marks. Chapter 3. You have to solve any 4 sub-questions and weightage of marks for each sub-question is 3. In all, the weightage for this particular question is of 12 marks. Question 4. You have to solve any 3 sub-questions 
and weightage for each set sub question is of 4 marks in all the weightage for this particular question is of 12 marks question 5 you have to solve any four sub questions and weightage for each sub question is of 5 marks in all weightage for this particular question is of 20 marks now our team of lokasatta yashashvi bhava will guide you for this nature of the question paper and about the syllables besides that open ended question and hot questions will also be asked in your question paper now what is an open ended question the questions which are having more than one solution or a answers are known as open ended question and hot questions means high order thinking skill is required for solving such type of a questions for solving such type of a questions daily practice of solving such type of problems is required students now let us see the evaluation system evaluation system from the year 2011 and 12 is changed in the subject of algebra and geometry there will be board exam of 60 mark each for algebra and geometry and there will be internal assessment of 30 marks for algebra and geometry combined together the internal assessment will be as follows 10 marks for assignment 5 5 assignments each from algebra and geometry will be given to students and 10 marks will be allotted to each assignments and marks score out of 100 will be then converted into marks out of 10 10 marks for unit test in first term in first term a unit exam of 30 marks each in algebra and geometry will be conducted and mark score out of 60 is then to be converted into marks out of 10 10 marks for unit test in second term this unit test will completely based on multiple choice questions 30 questions of one mark each will be asked from algebra and from geometry and the mark score out of 60 will then converted into marks out of 10 this unit test will based on all the chapters so 120 marks will be for written test and 30 marks will be for internal assessment in all the total marks will be 150 and duration for this algebra paper will be of two and half hour